Hey everyone and welcome to our ultimate guide to build your first mining rig. This video will go over three of our articles that cover all the basics to get started with mining. The first one will be the best graphic cards for mining which will help you buy the right card. The second one will be how to build your mining rig. It will help you put all the components together and have it running. The third one will be basic wattage and electricity. It will basically help you dictate which outlet you should plug it in and how to calculate your amps and wattage. So everything we'll be talking about today will also be timelined in the description below as well as all the parts that we'll be using it will be in the description below with our affiliate links so please feel free to use them to support the channel. In the best graphic cards for mining we go over three important points. Should you get them used or new? We do recommend trying to scout out for good deals locally or on eBay, but just make sure that the warranty is still valid and transferable under your name. Just remember, if the price is too good to be true, then you know the rest. Which GPUs should you get? There is a couple of GPUs that we recommend, but honestly, this all comes down to you. If you're planning to test the water and see if you enjoy it, you can try a cheap option like the RX 580s 480s 8GB version, and then eventually scale up your rigs and have better efficiency, you can look into our top 3 recommendations. Number 3 will be the GTX 1660s, either the TI or the non-TI version. They are very versatile and efficient GPUs. And coming in second place will be the GTX 1070s and the 1080 Ti's for their attractive prices that you can find all over the used market. And finally number 1 will be the Vega 7. It is a beast of a card that can produce 90 mega hash for only 250 watts in the ethash algorithm. For this rig, we are building it with three Radeon 7s and using Asus B250. Our storage is a Kingston 120GB, but you can also use USB drives if you're planning to mine in Linux-based operating systems. You will also need U-bit risers to be able to plug in more than one GPU on a mining frame. Our power supply will be the EVGA P2, it's a 1200 watts platinum rated PSU, it's very reliable and efficient. And we will also be using this power meter to track our usage. And then we have this. The first thing you want to do is build your mining rig frame. So we're using the VETA frame today. Before placing your motherboard on the frame, make sure that you put in your CPU and your memory sticks first. We did not include it in this video, so if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment below and we'll help you out. When you're trying to place in your SSD, it can go anywhere on the rig, but honestly the best position is right behind the motherboard so you can plug it in easily and you don't have to extend the cables too much. When putting in the PSU 
holder, make sure that the teeth, the longer part, is pointing to the left side of the plug itself. Make sure to plug in your power on button properly because that's what will give you control to turn it on through that switch. It will be labeled below the pins, power switch most of the time. This motherboard takes in three ATX slots. So that comes in useful if you're using 9 or more GPUs, so you'll be using more than one power supply. And just make sure that you always cable manage properly. It helps a lot with the airflow and the heat. So just make sure that you put them on the side. Try to tie them up with some zip.
Before plugging in your mining rig, it is very important that you understand how much your mining rig will take in regard to electric usage. Once you are able to figure out how much electricity it will take, you will need to figure out what is the best place to plug it into. Using more water than your PCU or wall plug can take may potentially cause serious damage to the hardware and the place in which you're trying to plug it into. Here are some tips that we believe will help you out. 1. Use heavy duty wiring that are made for the amount of amps that you are trying to utilize. Don't just use extension cords and extension plugs, it can still burn down the outlet and the plug itself. 2. Power supply ratings and limitations. Power supply ratings and limitations will give you a better idea on how to prepare yourself if you're planning on mining at home. Power supplies can vary in many ways. Some have a good amount of VGA cables to be able to connect more GPUs and some will have the bare minimum to run only one or a couple of GPUs. In that case, you will have to buy a PCIe splitter to be able to run more GPUs. Make sure to always get at least a gold rated power supply and up. They are much more efficient and will waste less watts while you're mining. Please remember to never go above 80% utilization of the wattage that the power supply can provide. This is to avoid damages. Now the third and last tip we have for you is understanding your fuse box. Your fuse box is your house electric circuit map. It helps you find the amount of watts and amps that you can draw out of the circuit. If for example you run 120 volts and you have an outlet that shows on the breaker 15 amps, it means that you can draw 120 times 15, which is equal to 1800 watts. But the same rule applies here as with the PCU. Do not utilize more than 80%. We promised on our Instagram to give a shout out to whoever commented on our last video. So first we wanted to thank Red Panda Mining. I'm sure most of you guys know about Red Panda Mining. But we have been a fan of his content for a long time. Red Panda, if you're watching this, thank you so much for your support. It truly means a lot to us. If you guys haven't checked out his channel yet, please go check him out. We also want to give a shout out to Bitcoin SOV. Bitcoin SOV has been our first supporter since the start of Mining Chamber. If you guys want to learn more about Bitcoin SOV, we have a blog written about them on our website. Thank you as well to our friend Floquencia. If you guys are interested in Fortnite or just like video games, go check them out. Thank you as well to Gregory for the lovely comment. Muchas gracias, te mandamos un abrazo también. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions,